Hi, welcome to today's class. Today we have a very nice exponential equation before us here. How do we solve this exponential equation? It is very easy. If you are not happy, be happy. Okay, because it is happiness that will give you a powerful energy to do whatever you are doing. Okay, so try to build that energy from within outside. All right, so let's go into today's challenge. If you've not subscribed, do not forget to subscribe because that is the only you will get notified whenever we release an amazing video on this platform so let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time so we take our solution here to the question before us here and what does the question say the question reads 16 to the power of x equal to x to the power of 2. there's something you may not have discovered which i want to show you here now look at the question here now let's take down the question 16 to the power of x equal to x to the power of 2. The first thing we do here is to take the square root of both sides because this is a perfect square, right? So here we can take the square root of this. So if we take the square root of both sides, then what will happen? So let's take this square root of 16 to the power of x is equal to the square root of your x to the power of 2. But note this, that immediately we take the square root of both sides, what happened? Dix will attract plus minus. Remember that? Good. So Dix, we can rewrite Dix as our 16 to the power of x all over 2, which is equal to your plus minus your x. Remember Dix? Now, according to the law of indices, we can rewrite this guy here. So we can write this as the square root of 16 all to the power of x equal to plus minus x. Remember this? The square root of 16 will give us 4. So we end up having x to the power of 4 is equal to plus minus. Okay? So we now have case 1 and case 2 from here. All right? So let's take case 1. So here we have here case 1. So what is our case 1? We have 4 to the power of x equal to, oh, let me write this equal to very well, x. So let's solve for the value of x in this expression. Okay, now look at this very guy here. I want to make this side to be unity. In other words, I want to divide both sides by 4 to the power of x. So if we do that, this will give us here the 4 to the power of x all over 4 to the power of x equal to our x all over 4 to the power of x. Okay. So this guy will give us one. So let's move this to this side and move this other side to this side. So we have here x all of our four to the power of x equal to one. Yeah, your story is becoming clearer now, right? Okay, so what we do next here? All we need to do is to rewrite this side of the equation. Okay, so this could be written as x all of our e to the power of ln of four to the power of x. Remember this? Yes, because if we have e to the power of ln base e, this will give us 1 because they will cancel out. And so it will give us 4 to the power of x back. <laughs> okay, so every t is equal to 1. Okay, remove this division sign. So this will give us s times our e. The whole of this exponent will carry a minus sign, which is negative. So you'll have 4 to the power of x equal to 1, yeah. According to the property of logarithm, so we can move this back here. So we're going to have here x times our e to the power of minus x ln of 4 equal to 1. So what we do here, we want to make sure that everything up here is the same thing we have here. So here we have x, here we have x, but here we have ln of 4 and the minus side, we don't have that. So let's multiply by minus ln of 4. So this will now give us minus x into our ln of 4 times your e to the power of minus s ln of 4 equal to your minus ln of 4. Easy. So what we do here, we can now evoke our Lambert WN function to this, right? Yes, we can evoke our Lambert WN function. Now the Lambert WN function says that if you have your uh, star, then times your e r to the power of a star, then you take the lambda wn function, this will give us what? A star. All right, so if we put this into consideration, so we can rewrite this guy here. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. So from here, we're going to have here 
w, which is lambda wm function minus our x ln of 4 times our e to the power of minus x ln of 4 close bracket equal to the lambda wm the minus ln of 4 close bracket okay so the whole of this side will give us a minus your x ln of 4 equal to then we're going to have here wn bracket minus ln of 4. Good. We're looking for s, so let's divide by minus ln of 4. So our minus ln of 4. This will also divide by minus ln of 4. So this, this leaves the system. So we now have our x is equal to our minus. Let's draw our division line lambda wn function of minus ln of 4 close bracket all over ln of 4. Okay, so this is the value for our x. And mind you, n is a set of integer, set of numbers ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, da, da, da. So we have infinite solution to uh, this expression. Yeah. So we have under here, we're going to have imaginary roots only to this expression yeah if you plug in x equal to zero x equal to one s equal to three da 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 in your wolfram alpha calculator is going to give you imaginary roots but we have a real root to this expression and that will be gotten from um case two okay so let's go ahead and solve for case two case two so let's take case two what is our case two our case two is the negative one, so we have here 4 to the power of x is equal to minus x. Similar thing we are going to do here. So what do we do? We divide by what? Your 4 to the power of x divided so by 4 to the power of x. So this, this leaves. So we now have, we rewrite this part of the equation. So this will now give us here minus x all over re to the power of ln of 4 all to the power of x. This is equal to 1. Right? Good. So remove this division sign. This is going to give us minus x eh, times our e to the power of minus uh, x eh, ln of 4 equal to 1. This has not changed anything, right? Good. Again, we have to make this side and this side to be the same. But the difference between this and the former one is that here we are having minus x already. Here we are having minus x. So it's only ln of 4 we are going to multiply both sides with. And that makes the difference. Look at this. Yeah, look at the former one. Yeah. Look at the former, former one. Yeah, at this point here. Okay, so let's continue on this side of the board. So from here, we're going to have this to be um, minus, let's start from here, minus x ln of 4 times e to the power of minus x ln of 4 equal to. Again, we multiply the other side, which is that of 1, by your ln of 4. So we can introduce our Lambert Wn function. So we have your Lambert your Wn function minus x ln of 4 times e to the power of minus s ln of 4 close bracket is equal to Wn, then bracket your ln of 4. Sorry, I want to have to manage the space here. So what happened? Minus your x ln of 4 equal to your lambda wn function bracket the ln of 4, close bracket. Okay, this is not minus, this is a point, please. All right, so again, we divide both sides by minus ln of 4. Then we equally divide this by minus ln of 4. This, this leaves the system. So we now have our x is equal to minus ln bracket ln of 4 right all over ln of 4. Now, like we said, n ranges from 0 to infinity. So if we impute n equal to 0, so if we take our n equal to 0 and impute this into our work from our calculator, it's going to give us x equal to minus 1 all over 2. And this is the only real root to this challenge here. This is the only real root, okay? Although, let's run a check to see if this answer 
x equals to minus 1 all over 2. We satisfy the original equation. So let's bring our equation here. So you have 16 to the power of x equal to our x squared. So we have 16 to the power of minus 1 all over 2 equal to minus 1 all over 2 all to the power of 2. Right? Good. So we can remove this using our um, law of indices, which will give us 1 all over our um, 16 to the power of 1 all over 2. And yeah, if we use this to open this, this will give us 1 all over 4, right? So the square root of 16 will give us 4, so we're going to have 1 all over 4 is equal to 1 all over 4. Okay. So this shows that the answer, minus 1 all over 2, as the only real root satisfy this original equation. So this might be the end of this challenge. If you learned something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. If you are not playing any of the up points or any of the steps, drop it in the comment section. If you have a better way of solving this within 30 seconds, leave it in the comment section so that we can equally learn from you. Remember, this is all I must TV. We love you. Stay blessed. Bye for now.